filter. It's a filter. We call it what? Effluent filter. Okay. Right? I don't know. So how about we start with where we are? We where are we right now? Inside a septic tank. <laughs> Of a 1500 gallon septic tank, that's correct. All right, so this is the effluent filter, right? Uh -huh. All right, good deal. So, what are we looking at in this effluent filter? What are those two things on the bottom? Posts. Posts, what are they for? To hold it up, so right? It doesn't fall. All right, because it's connected to the outlet pipe and it needs support. Okay, so when wastewater comes into this tank, it divides itself in three separate layers. Top layer is the fog, fats, oils, and greases. The middle layer is effluent. And then the bottom layer is called what? Uh, sludge. Sludge, my man. That's right. So how this thing works is that the fog stays on top, sludge stays on bottom, and the effluent goes down and into the filter. Wow, that's a view. That's almost like Star Wars-like. And as it goes into the effluent filter, all the yuckies that are not necessarily liquids get caught in the filter. And then only liquids exit the tank. And they go to the pump chamber, which is next door. Now this filter requires maintenance at least one time in a year, where filter one and filter two get pulled out of the, ch the, the basket, scrub down, wash, clean, nice and clean, and then we put it right back in. Now it has to be done once a year because if it doesn't, then the filter clogs up and the septic tank backs up, which that means the filter is doing its job. So yay, but a backup always sucks. So anyways, one time per year. How cool is that? Really? Yeah, cool. All right, so let's get there. And we're gonna take Let me see. <laughs> Isn't it cool?